Right, so this is then the density required practical. Right, and what we're going to be doing in this, we're going to be investigating the density of three different types of objects. A regular shape, an irregular shape, and liquids. Right, we've got to be able to work out all three, and each one of the kind of techniques is slightly different. Right, so what we're then going to be doing is we're going to be working out the density. Right, a bit of maths involved. Now, density is a little bit unusual, right, in the fact that if I was going to say time, time's in seconds. If I was going to say weight, weight in newtons. If I was going to say um, mass, kilograms. But density, right, is one that kind of breaks those rules a little bit. And it depends a lot on the actual question that you're asked. So you could have kilograms per meter cubed, which is what's in the question. You could have kilograms per centimeter cubed. You could have grams per metre cubed, and you could have grams per centimetre cubed. And what you've got to do is you've got to look out for the question itself and what they're actually telling you to calculate it. Right, so this one we're going to look at is a regularly shaped object. All right, so what you're doing is you're just talking like, like a block. Okay, for each of your selected objects, measure the length, the width, and the height. Okay, so on here we've got length, width, height. Okay, and literally what you'll do then is if the length is five centimeters, the height is two centimeters, and the width is three centimeters, you literally multiply them together. So five times two is ten, times that is thirty, and if it's in centimeters, it then becomes centimeter cubed. That is then working out the volume. What you then do is you've got density equals, you've worked out the volume, it's 30. Now you get the mass using a mass balance. And you just literally put it onto the mass balance. So here I've got centimetre cubed. I put it on my mass balance and it is 60 grams. So then what I do is using my calculator, density equals 60 divided by 30 is 2. And because I've got grams and centimetre cubed, my units will be grams per centimetre cubed. Okay, that's straightforward. Then, calculating the density of a liquid. You're doing exactly the same kind of style thing, right, except there's one extra step. Measure the mass of the empty measuring cylinder. There's your measuring cylinder, right, and what you do is you put it onto the balance and you can either record it down as 200 grams, or if you press the zero, it takes it back to zero grams. Then you put your liquid in, right? There's your liquid in. And what you've got to do is you've got to know the difference between the two. So on this, it's then 250 grams. So, whoops, it'd be 50 grams of liquid that's in there. If you'd done it on zero, then the actual scale on there would say 50 grams. All right? So you zero the mass balance, pour your solution into the measuring cylinder, calculate the mass, and then calculate the density. Now the problem then you've got is you've got the volume. So the volume is you look at the scale, and to me that looks like 25 centimeter cubed. So density equals mass, 50 grams, divided by volume. 25, so I've got grams there, and I've got centimetre cubed there. 50 divided by 25 is 2, and because it's grams and centimetre cubed, grams per centimetre cubed. Okay, so that's the density of a liquid. <clears throat> the third one, right, I think it's probably the most interesting one, is getting an irregular shaped object. So it could be anything, right, so it could be a pen. Right, it could be a pen lid, right? It could be anything, right, that is a little bit harder to actually measure. Right, so what you do is you use this object here, which is called a displacement or your Eureka can. Right, and literally what you do is you fill it with water up to the spout. So you just pour it in until water starts coming out of the spout. Then you lower your object very carefully into the actual Eureka can, displacement can, and you then have a measuring cylinder underneath here. And any water that gets displaced, which is why it's called a displacement can, comes out and it fills this here. Okay, so that then is the water 
that has then been displaced. You then do the actual calculation. Density equals, you've got the volume, I'm just going to make it up as 50 centimetre cubed. All right, but then I've done something really stupid. What I've done is I've put the actual mass into my Eureka can, and I should have done something before. I should have measured the mass. Right, so what I've done then is just re-putting it back again. I haven't put my mass in. My mass weighs 50 grams. Then you put it in. Then you collect your 50 centimetre cubed of water. The density is 50 grams divided by 50 centimetre cubed. So it is one gram per centimetre cubed. Right, so that is then density, right? Now density, right, they could ask you any three of those methods. Probably the most likely one is the Eureka can one because it's kind of a little bit more different. It's a little bit more interesting. You need to know the methods, but you definitely need to know the equation, right? Because if you don't know the equation, right, then you're never ever going to be able to answer any of the questions ever.